Welcome back to the channel, guys. Arthur here from Draft Media, here to talk about the guard from Houston, Marcus Sasser. A player who nearly entered the draft in the prior year, Sasser elected to return to Houston for his senior season, where he averaged 16 points, 3 assists, and 3 rebounds per game on 43% from the field and 37% from behind the arc as of February 14th. Marcus Sasser has used his transition opportunities to showcase his deep arsenal of finishing tools. He flashes the ability to finish with either hand on either side of the basket and also through contact. While he is primarily an outside scorer, he's averaging a career high in 2 point percentage, which is right over 50%. However, there is still a lot of room for improvement when it comes to his interior scoring. Defenses are able to speed him up and alter his composure, ultimately leading to off-balance shots. One of Sasser's most frequent and efficient tools is his floater. He has a certain composure to him before putting up these shots, which he does quickly and over multiple defenders. Surely this will help his game at the next level as it is currently. Sasser has also looked great as a pick and roll ball handler. He's able to get downhill and shows off some very impressive hang time and finishing ability. Marcus gets to the line with relative frequency, averaging 3.6 free throw attempts per game and shooting 82% from the line. An area Sasser can improve on is his mid-range game. According to College Basketball Analytics, he is shooting 12 of 41 for mid-range which is right under 30%. Adding a mid-range shot would bring a new dimension to his skill set where he could be ultra dangerous out of the pick and roll. In my opinion, Sasser has looked his best from behind the arc as a catch and shoot player. His shot could be quicker, but he will still be an effective outside threat. He's shooting 64% from the corners which speaks to how efficient he can be from behind the arc. Marcus Sasser is shooting 37% from behind the arc which I believe would be a lot higher if he wasn't attempting to create offense for himself. I don't believe that will be his role in the NBA which is why I project his 3 point efficiency will see a bump at the next level. He's not a black hole when shooting off the dribble by any stretch. He shows a lot of talent and ability to make these types of shots frequently enough that his coach allows him to continue to take them. However at times he can seem to hijack the offense which will simply not fly in the NBA. In my opinion, Sasser will be best suited as a role playing combo guard who continues to make the right play over and over again. He also sports bad shot selection when shooting off the dribble. More often than not, there's a lot of time left on the shot clock when Sasser attempts these shots. I believe Sasser won't be given this sort of leeway at the next level which will definitely benefit his career. The Steph Curry influence in his game is clear as day, but only Curry can get away with these sort of shots.
Marcus Sasser is averaging 3.2 assists per game, which he achieves by making the extra pass to the open man. As primitive as it may seem, it is a vital aspect of playmaking and an overall smart basketball player. Playmaking does have multiple layers, however. He does a good job of putting pressure on the defense and kicking it out to open teammates. He also makes good reads out of the pick and roll, hitting the roll man and try to the basket. Sasser is averaging 2.7 rebounds per game which isn't game changing but is a nice plus to his game. I always love to see a point guard fighting for boards even though it's not traditionally their duty. Sasser's defensive prowess may just be his greatest skill on the court with respect to his perimeter shooting. He has a 6'7 wingspan and elite lateral quickness. I imagine he may be able to guard 1-3 through three depending on the wing. His defense and catch and shoot ability give him the floor of a really solid 3 and deep guard. The only way I could imagine Sasser struggling in the NBA is if he shoots himself out of the rotation with his questionable shot selection. Long arms also help him as a ball hawk in passing lanes. He's averaging 1.7 steals per game and picking off passes opens up easy transition opportunities for Marcus. My NBA comparison form is Norris Cole, who was a great role player in the Big 3 Miami Heat era. In his best statistical season, he averaged 10, 4, and 3 in 27 minutes per game. While I do believe Sasser has the potential to pop off with higher scoring games because of his shot selection from behind the arc, he should be best suited as a 3 and D guard who strives to do whatever it takes to help his team win games. My NBA draft projection for Marcus Sasser is a late first to early second round pick. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel to join the Draft Media family.